Julius Malema. Ningam Pakamisa, get we job. Ningam Pakamisa, get we job. Spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Long live the defiant spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Long live the fighting spirit of Winnie Mandela, long live. Forward to expropriation of land without compensation, forward. Forward to expropriation of land without compensation, forward. Forward to nationalization of mines and banks. Forward. Amanda. Thank you very much, program directors, members of the family, particularly Mama Zenani and Mama Zinzi, the Matikizela family and Mandela family, religious leaders leadership of the judiciary under the capable leadership of Chief Justice Mukwe Mukwing, members of parliament, members of the executive, the ruling party and all political formations that are here, the leadership of the Youth League, the leadership of the Women's League, the leadership of COSAS, the international dignitaries, Leaders of the EFF led by the capable leader, our Deputy President Floyd Shibambo, Commissars, Commanders, Generals of Mkonto Sizwe, in particular the underrated General Spiwe Nyanda, former President Mbeki, former President Mutlante, Comrade President Matamela Cyril Ramaphosa, Salutations to fellow South Africans, Africans and people of the world. Comrade Ramaphosa, I want to reassure you that today we are in a burial of Mama Winnie Matikzela Mandela and President Matamela, you are her president and today here Anyone who shows you disrespect will be showing Mama disrespect because you are the president of her organization and the president of this country. So be rest assured, comrade president, that even the Red Sea is going to chair in salutation. Program directors, 
I'm here to speak on behalf of the economic freedom fighters, the daughters and sons of Mama Nomzamo Matikzela Mandela, those prodigal kids isolated and banished by the liberation movement for asking for land expropriation without compensation, nationalization of mines and banks, free education, and economic freedom in our lifetime. I'm here to speak on behalf of the dejected masses of our people. I speak on behalf of the landless people, the unemployed youth, the FISMAS fall generation, the security guards, the domestic workers, the farm workers, cleaners, waiters and waitresses, the shopkeepers, petrol attendants, teachers, nurses, soldiers, police, government employees, the black middle class working in the racist firms of white monopoly capital, and all those who are paid lower salaries. I'm here not so much to bury mama, because queen mothers do not die. They multiply into million red flowers of love and freedom. I'm here to pick up the spear and make my vows that I'll continue to fight for a mission of restoring the dignity of black people through attainment of economic freedom in our lifetime. I'm here, Mama, to express my condolences to our biological children whom I know and the rest of my Dikizela and Mandela family. I'm here to look at your grandchildren in the eyes and tell them that they will never be treated like they've got leprosy for as long as I'm still alive. I'm here to evoke the spirit of the one who put the country first, above her own personal safety, when it was not fashionable to do so. Many youth activists were personally released by Winnie Mandela from the custody vans of apartheid military. She confronted gun-carrying white men who were sworn killers of the apartheid defense force throughout the long years of the state of the emergency in the 1980s. Here, she lived a constant naked contact with danger, prepared to lose her life and even life of her own children who were put into danger by her political activities. You trusted that your mission of putting the country first was embraced by your organization that you loved so much, Mama. But, Mama, you didn't know that your organization had been rendered incapable of loving you back. You fought for what you believed was right, possessed only by your love for our people and the restoration of their dignity. In this fight, you were persecuted by the apartheid regime and disowned by your own. Fellow South Africans, I'm comforted by the fact that Mama died a perfect death, a death of a revolutionary because she never sold out. We should all be happy because her name will be written in the eternal book of life the book of all who died for the betterment of all. The people of Soweto, please never forget the name of Mama Nomzamo Madikizela Mandela. The best way to remember her is to continue the fight against corruption and for economic freedom in our lifetime. Mama, some of the Winnie Mandela Support Committee members are here to bid farewell to you. The committee which was formed to support you during Stompy's trial. We take this opportunity to thank these selfless fighters, Comrade Cyril Janchis, Dr. Ebin Komo, and Mankomo, Obrimu Kwena, Rapumulekan, Gwen Ramukhopa, Mohamed Danga, Moses, Mos Chikani, and our national chairperson, Dalimpofu. Mama, let me tell you,
that Mamano Ramutlo Mutodi from Brantford, your star witness in the Stompy case, is here, including Stompy's mother, is here to bid farewell to the mother of the nation. <laughs> Mama, I spoke to Stompy's mother, and I wanted to convince her to come here. And she said to me, Julius, Mwanaka, Bamukatwaka, Bam Phonet, Kitota Ma Libona, Hakibati Tel, because Robuluka Masi Chava. Then I knew that there was never such a story about you and the Stompy family. Mama, Laboam Maile is here, the former president of Cosas who bestowed the honorary president of Cosas on you when it was not fashionable to do so. The people of Winnie Mandela Squatter Camp are also here. They named their place after you when you are still alive. Because they knew your worth. Mama, the leadership of the EFF is here because they proudly associated and unashamedly supported you when you are still alive. Amongst them, Mama, is Dr. Mbuiseni Ndlozi, the PhD graduate, the one who you attended his celebration. You did so, Mama, because you loved education. You wanted the young ones to be educated. Mama, you knew that sustainability of economic freedom is going to rely on education. Equally so, big Mama, some of those who sold you out to the regime are here. <laughs> Mama, some of those who sold out to the regime are here. And what is funny, Mama, is that they are crying the loudest more than all of us who cared for you. Mama, Mama, the UDF cabal is here. The cabal that rejected you and disowned you and sent you to the brutal apartheid regime is here. When, when they called, when they called the press conference during the, the dark days of apartheid, when they called the press conference, when the regime was prepared to kill and said in that press conference, you are not part of them, they are here today. <laughs> Mama, why did the UDF call a press conference to disassociate themselves from you? Because you were never a member of UDF. You were a member of the ANC. You were the only one who was pronouncing ANC in the 80s. Why did the UDF see the need to disassociate themselves with a person who was not their member? Mama, you never told me how we must treat them when they come here. I'm waiting for a signal, ma. Mama. Nomza. Mama Nomzamo, all those who resigned from the NEC of the Women's League because they said they cannot be led by a criminal, they are here. Some of them, some of them, some of them are playing prominent roles in your funeral, in a funeral of a person they called a criminal, in a funeral of a person they were ready to humiliate in front of the whole world. They are here, ma. Ma, 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 I'm waiting for a signal on how we should treat them. Mama, the same people who shocked us by not allowing you to pay tribute to the late Vita Mukaba at his funeral despite the fact that you molded his politics in the South African Youth Congress and the ANC Youth League, they are here. They prevented you from addressing Pitamukaba's funeral 
despite the fact that you were the president of the Women's League and the Women's League was on the program. And our cries as the youth activists for you to speak fell on deaf ears. Life is so unfair, Ma, because we see these people amongst us here today. We don't know what to do because we don't want to be accused of being insensitive and disrespecting your dignified funeral. We mention some of these few incidences just to make them aware. We mention these incidences, few incidences, just to make them aware that we know what they did to you. They must never think we have forgotten what they did to you. We see you in your beautiful suits, betrayals, sellouts. We see you. Ma. Ma. Mama. The widows of Marikana are still in tears. What must we tell them, Ma? We, together with you, promised them a quiet visit. They are still waiting. What do I tell them when the situation is like this? What about those who killed their husbands of Marikana widows for selfish profits? What do we do to them? Tell us, Ma. Give us a sign, or else we will have to come back because we don't have answers without you. Those who isolated you in Marikana, they are here. Mama, you said to us, we must come back to the ANC. We heard you. But which ANC do we go to? Of the same people who sold you out, of the same people who are ready to give you to the enemy. Mama, why did you leave us? Booyah, Ma. Ma, come back and leave after giving us a signal. Fellow fighters, let us mourn the death of our mother in a dignified manner. Let us display the highest form of discipline. Let us not be reactive. We don't need these people to tell us who Winnie Mandela is. Winnie Mandela is our mother. We know her. We don't need George Fivers to tell us about Winnie Mandela. We don't need Stratcom to tell us about Winnie Mandela. We will celebrate Winnie Mandela forever, for as long as we are still alive. If it's true that the ANC honors Winnie Mandela, name the Cape Town Airport Winnie Mandela Airport. Thank you.